Hi folks, Dave and Janice back with you. We're still writing out the COVID-19 storm at our friend's cottage. This week we thought we'd take you back a couple of months and show you some places we visited in and around Las Cruces, New Mexico. We start with our trip from Carlsbad to Las Cruces, which was at times kind of snowy. We had some undesired excitement on that trip and we were almost stranded in the middle of nowhere. So come and hang out with us. It is a cold, snowy morning in Carlsbad. It's telling us to leave. <laughs> so we are. It's actually the same temperature here this morning as where our daughter lives in Ontario. That tells you it's cold. <laughs> but it won't last. Right. The shortest route from Carlsbad KOA to Las Cruces KOA is along Highway 82 through the Lincoln National Forest and then Highway 70 through White Sands. But there's heavy snow in the forecast in the mountains along that route today. So we've opted to take a more southern route through the Texas Panhandle and El Paso. So about halfway through a 150 mile stretch where there's no fuel stops in the Panhandle of Texas, our auxiliary fuel tank pump warning came on telling us to check the filter. And sure enough, um, this thing is clogged to the point where it's not pumping fuel out of our auxiliary tank into our main tank as quickly as we're burning it. Um, so I have to figure out how to fix this thing on the fly. Look at the gunk in that. So I found this chunk of broken tubing in the trailer. I'm gonna use that to bridge where I just removed the clogged filter. And that should get us going. That should do it. So, spotted dog. Awesome. All excellent beers. I had a flight. Oh, somehow you managed to chuck them all down. I did. <laughs> they were all really good. Really good beers. And my 
hard place The reason I can't face the truth You lift me up I wonder how long it takes one to grow that big It's a great horned owl That's the front end of one there And that is the bum of one there you don't want to stand below them. No. Where y'all from? From Ontario, Canada. Ooh. You are a long way from home. <laughs> we are, yeah. And did the girl in the desk in there tell you she was from Canada? No, she no. didn't. She is. Wow. They threw her out a long time ago. <laughs> I guess she's not proud of it. She didn't mention it at all. <laughs> Our bridge was built in 1902 across the Pecos River. On the left is our dairy barn. Here we got uh, Black Angus. That's a beef guy imported from Scotland. And the gray one here. There's a Brahma bull. Ah, look at the size of the They imported four different breeds of cattle from India. Crossed the bump, came up with the American Brahma. And he's a pretty good sized creature. He sure is. Sort of hard to see, but the man here on the right is our Texas Longhorn. But now that is the first cow developed in the United States. Man had nothing to do with it. The Corriente was running wild in Texas. The settlers brought in different breeds of cattle. They got together and that's the end result. One that's got the mixed up horns, is that an injury or something? No. A cow is not, a calf is not born with horns. And the cow says, thank you. But <laughs> <laughs> if you will feel on the calf's head where the horn should be, you feel it's not. Mm -hmm. Now, if that calf gets a lick just right, it don't take much, it don't not enough to hurt the calf. But if it hits just right, it'll cause that horn to be deformed. Okay. And that's what happens. This is our horse area. Now the ponies you saw Belong to the museum. The horses belong to the hands that work here. Yeah. And they leave them here because they use them on a the job. In New Mexico, we have a lot. If you use public funds to build anything, 1% has to go to public art. This is our 1%. It's a watering place. It's cool. When the guy coming in, I was made out of one inch steel. Weighs a little eight inch thousand pounds. Wow. And when he came in here to make it, it was so hot he couldn't. He put on diving suit, put it under water, cut it out, brought it back here and assembled it. <laughs> and I'm a little smarter than most folks. I looked at that and I said, it's rusty. <laughs> oh no. That's a coating we put on it to keep it from rusting. <laughs> I can't tell the difference. <laughs> you look, you need to see streaks in yeah. it. Yeah. And I'm still trying to figure out where he found that much water. It wasn't close by. Well, folks, this is the end of the line. Well, thank you very much. That was oh, very interesting. Yeah, very great. much so. It's just one thing that you can do. Won't you make up your mind? There's no need to be unkind Still you keep me behind you
please sit, he says. Still lady. There's a decent sized gravel parking lot here for RVs. Obviously big rig friendly. Room to turn around, room to park. It's like at least three of you. Supposed to be avoiding snow. Whatever they are, another one built right there. This was definitely the two-story part. Yeah. This was so cool. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Definitely a cool, cool place to walk around. Yeah, it's pretty easy hike. Too. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Pretty easy, uh, wear good walking shoes though, because there's a lot of uh, loose, gravel. loose gravel, pretty big stones of the loose gravel, and it's on a gradual incline going up, yeah. and yeah, but there's no like climbing, climbing. Anyway, yeah. very neat. I had no idea what we were going to see. Chance didn't <laughs> there tell you me. Go. We're going for a hike. Well, she didn't tell me that until we actually got here. <laughs> but anyway, it was good. Next time I want to wear hiking shoes, though, instead of motorcycle boots. Definitely. A little, little 
little dearsies. So there are all sorts of marked paths through the park, um, but apparently there's also a lot of unmarked paths uh, that you can go on. So I guess unlike some other state parks where you have to stay on the marked trails, uh, it seems that this one you're allowed to do a little bit of exploring. I can own this, of course. There are signs all over the place that say that as well. You are responsible for your own safety. Yes. <laughs> as it should be. Our trip to Las Cruces got off to a bit of a rough start with, with the snow and the breakdown along the highway. But I'm sure we'll be back because there are other things we want to see there and we had a lot of fun while we were there. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing and after you've subscribed, hit that little bell symbol so that you'll get notifications each time we release a new video. Thanks for joining us. We really do appreciate it. See you next time. Bye for now.